Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on LK from Imaginando. This tutorial is a basic tutorial, uh, but on the other hand, you learn from basics. So uh, we are going to go through the creation of a simple um, clip, which will include just uh, some uh, drum events. And in so doing, I will show you two ways you can record drum patterns. So <clears throat> we are inside the AUM and uh, let's uh, add an audio channel and also a MIDI channel. Then let's uh, select LK for uh, the MIDI processor. And let's select um, Ruiz Maker for uh, uh, my drum machine. So <clears throat> let's set uh, the volume further down for the drum machine like so. Um, let's connect LK to the drum to Ruiz Maker and let's set it to receive only on channel number one. And then let's set the keyboard to be connected to LK because we are going to use the um, AUM keyboard to send the events for recording. So let's go inside LK and let's maximize it. So um, as you can see, we have a clip here created and we have a first scene as per pro default project. So <clears throat> let's uh, click and hold on the clip and let's select the properties and let's uh, move these down so we maximize as much as we can the uh, piano roll view inside the composer. So here we can start to set things like the name, like so, drum. Okay. And we ensure for the purpose of this tutorial to set the length to one bar. Okay, perfect. Um, if you click now on the keys of the piano roll, you will hear the uh, Ruiz Maker um, making sounds because MIDI events are sent to Ruiz Maker. Now you can use two fingers and you can scroll down so that we, and you can also zoom in and out with the two fingers. And let's go to the point where we have our kick drum. Okay, so one way as you normally do to record is to use uh, um, the piano roll and the user interface so you just click and set uh, uh, four bits like so now the length of the bits is determined by this the setting here on the magnet so at the moment is 1 16th but if you set it to 1 eighth you can see it changed the grid size okay so let's set it back to 1 16th in terms of grid and magnet which is set here so you can enable or disable the magnets here and you can change the grid size here Okay, so that's one way uh, to actually do it. And um, if we click play, you will hear um, Rhythmaker play. Now, <clears throat> if you use the AUM keyboard, it doesn't produce any sound. That's because uh, our track is not armed for recording. So let's scroll this down to minimize the composer. Let's click here on the M for mixer and let's click here to armed the track for recording. Now, if you use your keyboard, perfect. Now we can hear sound. So <clears throat> let's go back to the composer. Now, in order to record, you also have to select the button record here and let's click play and add some events. Of course, if you don't like it, you can still make adjustment. So click and for example, like so, and we done a small adjustment. So let's play again. Okay, perfect. Now let's introduce something else like um, I hat. Okay, perfect. So let's record these as well. And um, let's uh, set the record quantize to one eighth for now, so that will help me with the recording. So play again. The recording on is in armed, and it is armed for recording. Okay, let's stop. Let's click this bu this button here to zoom out and to focus the zoom. As you can see, uh, pretty cool. Okay, if you want to do a little bit better of that, of course, you can click and select. 
so you can highlight all the notes and then you click at the end of the tail of one and move so you can set them all to the same duration okay and then click again outside to remove the selection so let's click play again So, and as you can see, it's very simple on how to record uh, um, a little drum pattern inside a clip using either the piano roll directly inserting notes or recording directly from the keyboard. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.